What's up everybody, Matt Moran here for another update in the bullet. So it's been two years, believe it or not, since I got this 2019 Mustang Bullet. And uh, so I wanted to give a little bit of a recap of you know how it's been doing here. I've officially put about 13,500 miles on it. I know, it's not a lot in two years. I did about 10,000 miles in the first year, and then it's uh, only been about another 3,000 or so here in this year so far. Obviously, COVID and uh, the lack of uh, things to do and places to go because of COVID has really hurt uh, the amount of opportunities I've had to drive the bullet here. It also doesn't help that, uh, you know, as I review cars for a living, I have a lot of press vehicles that I drive and I have to put miles on those. And so this turns out to be a garage queen, even though I don't really want it to be. And it ends up being a weekend car. And um, I definitely don't want it to be that I love daily driving it. And the past two weeks I have been able to daily drive because I haven't had any press cars. Um, but anyway, so, you know, that and just the fact that there's, like I said, not very many places to go. No road trips to go on here as much this year so far. I will be doing one hopefully here soon um, to at least get the mileage up to 14,000. But, uh, you know, a lot of my plans for this car this year have, of course, uh, been put on hold and will hopefully happen next year or this fall or whenever things get back to normal. But uh, a couple common questions and things people had about this car. I want to kind of go over, you know, an update here since, uh, you know, about 10 months ago when I did my 10,000 mile update as far as how it's doing. So uh, the car has been holding up great and overall I still love it. Um, it hasn't had any real issues or anything that's uh, been upsetting here, you know, in the past year or so. It's really held up so, so well. And uh, so one thing a lot of people ask about is the Expel paint protection film, which I had put on when the car was brand new. And obviously 13,000 miles isn't a ton, so, you know, you can't expect much wear. Uh, but uh, it's really been, you know, doing so well. I mean, so a few of the things that I pointed out last year was, you know, there there's a couple little things. They're so minor though. Um, an overall, you know, it still is holding up really, really well, but it also shows, I did discover when I was washing this car uh, last night, there's a couple little things that, um, the, you know, the paint protection film doesn't cover everything. So one thing I pointed out a while ago, so they did do the headlights and you can see a little bit of, um, you know, stuff under the, um, you can see where the film is there. That's the only spot where you can even tell this car has paint protection film. I also apologize if it's windy, it's about to start downpouring here. But anyway, I did notice uh, there was one chip up here, right there. I don't even know if you can see it. But that is the only chip, but this is a part that is paint and hasn't been covered over. And so uh, that goes to show, I mean, I'd probably have way more of those chips on this front end if it wasn't for this clear bra. You know, another thing that I pointed out um, last year was there was another little tiny uh, chip here, but I think the uh, paint protection film has actually stopped that. There isn't anything beneath the paint, I don't think. I think it's that's also in the clear bra, and I think all that stuff would go away if I did actually remove this and put on a new coating. But I mean, everything else, I mean, here's a close-up. You can see for yourself, it all looks so, so good. A tiny little thing there, maybe. But I mean, overall, it's all held up so well. And even the stuff that isn't um, paint protection film, like you know, this front lip, I was worried this would get really chewed up. You know, and there's a couple tiny little dings in it, but everything's held up really well. Uh, this side has a little bit more, but I mean, really, not bad at all. Again, only 13,000 miles, so, you know, take it for what it is. But, you know, it is just holding up really, really well. The other thing is the tires have held up really well. Um, you know, no issues with them. They still have tons of meat on them. And actually, if if you've watched my previous updates, you'll know that I had two flats in this one last year. And so this one um, has been replaced. The first time I got a flat, it was a nail that went in right towards the middle and it was totally fine to plug and keep driving on it. But then um, right at the end of last fall, I got another one that was a little bit closer here to the sidewall. They weren't able to repair that one and I needed a new tire. So I ordered a new tire because this tire isn't too common. So I ordered it on Tire Rack and wait for it to come in and have them install it. Um, so that is a non-original tire. That's the only one that is, but I only had to replace the one because the other one was only down two tenths, they said. So there wasn't any need to swap out the other one because they were so close in wear between that and the new one. And even the back one. So a lot of people, I couldn't believe, I talked to my neighbor the other day who couldn't believe that my rear tires still have so much meat on them. Rear wheel drive, 480 horsepower, and I still have tons and tons of meat on these tires. I can't even feel the wear bar here. There, it's like just barely down there. I mean, these tires still have 
so much tread on them. So, um, you know, if you've seen reviews on tire rack and stuff, you know, these tires seem to last like 30,000 miles. And I have every reason to believe that that's true. Um, otherwise, the other common uh, problem area, at least that I've seen, and certainly on mine, was these exhaust tips. So I mentioned before how, you know, these are flaking off. And that's one thing that Ford screwed up with not coat it, coating these correctly. It's also a common problem with Raptors that also have this same coating on their exhaust tips. And uh, so it, the good thing is it hasn't gotten any worse. Again, only 3,000 or so more miles since my last update where I talked about this. But they haven't gotten any worse over the winter or anything when I did drive this car and a little bit of salt and stuff. Uh, but that's been totally consistent, been fine. And I, again, I'm not going to bother with it because Ford's official fix is to uh, hack up the exhaust and put new uh, mufflers on. I don't want to do that. If I'm going to replace, I want to do the whole thing. But I've even heard people that mess with their exhaust system, then the active uh, function gets a little weird and starts um, not working correctly if you mess with the active exhaust. So I don't want to touch it. I'm going to live with it. Not a big deal. Um, this car usually isn't this clean. It's usually dirty and I usually am driving it a lot. So um, not any point in keeping it pristine as far as the exhaust. I don't look at the exhaust, so I'm just going to leave it and uh, enjoy the active function and that's it. But um, yeah, otherwise, uh, not a whole lot to say. So one other thing, you know, a lot of people keep also talking about the engine and, you know, they're always worried about ticking and barbecue ticks and typewriter ticks and all these ticks that everyone always worries about with these 2018 and up Mustang GTs. Mine hasn't had any issues. So it does have a more mechanical sound from 2,500 to 3,000. Um, it is just if it's hovering in those RPMs and it doesn't even happen all the time, but just sometimes it feels a little more coarse, I guess is the best way I could describe it. Um, but the engine is totally fine. Um, someone on Instagram actually mentioned that a, a Ford Tech said that it is a uh, injector noise. And it's, uh, I totally believe that it's something like that because I've done oil analysis. And that is one thing I've gotten two more oil analysis done since I did my last update. The first one, you know, said that everything was wearing in very well and that the oil, um, you know, has been consistent with a new car. And the last two of the uh, oil analysis, they said that the engine is actually wearing in even better than they usually see. And they said that the uh, wear metals and, you know, all the uh, chemistry things going on whenever your engine is wearing in and stuff, um, they say that all that stuff is really, really good on this engine. And they said Ford did a great job from the factory, at least with my engine there's no weird wear and so that kind of gives me a lot of peace of mind and this isn't an ad um, for uh, oil analysis I use Blackstone labs they're very good um, but I'm just you know if you're worried about your engine on your Mustang get an oil analysis done you just take a little sample whenever you do an oil change and that will tell you if it's uh, you know has any issues or if there's anything weird going on without taking apart the actual engine and you know messing with stuff um, that's a really good way to know the health of your engine and as far as the oil analysis goes the engine is hundred you know ten out of ten doing totally fine no issues no worries no weird wear nothing um, so that really gives me a lot of peace of mind here and on the inside everything's wearing very well too you know uh, there's no ruffling in the seats like you often see on other Mustangs everything's you know held up very well everything is still pretty nice and tight um, and so yeah it's it's all held up very well um, no weird wear with the steering wheel or anything the gauges by the way haven't gone blank again uh, they did that once last year at like 5,000 miles or something they did it for like five seconds where it went blank that has never happened happened ever again haven't had any other infotainment related issues or anything else um, everything about this has been flawless uh, and so as far as all that goes I still just love being behind the wheel of this thing um, rowing through the gears the transmission's been totally fine no issues there um, you know I think you know way back uh, I think last year there was like two times maybe it locked me out of um, second gear whenever I would do a high rpm first gear you know acceleration um, hasn't done that since haven't had any issues issues um, but I mean I do drive this car fairly you know um, mildly I don't you know push it a whole lot um, so me taking it to redline you know happens fairly often but not you know all the time so maybe those who drive their cars harder will experience more issues than I do but you know I kind of baby this car uh, but I do have a lot of fun with it still and uh, haven't had any issues and it's treated me very well and I just drove through some rain on my way home and so I also wanted to show you guys the ceramic coating um, that I had put on back when the car was new uh, I did have a new top coat put on last year and they recommend doing it once a year and they haven't even uh, done that yet I haven't uh, scheduled a new top coat to be put on yet so this is one year old ceramic coating 
And I mean, just normal car washing, I'm, I'm not doing any kind of special car washes to give it any kind of extra bead or any extra waxing or anything. This is just a one-year-old ceramic coating and you can see how it is still beading up so nicely there. And so the ceramic has held up really well, still gives this vehicle a really nice shine. But yeah, so sorry I don't have more to report, but I'm kind of happy I don't have more to report because, uh, you know, as any of you who follow the channel for a while know, I had some issues with my EcoBoost Mustang. I had some bad luck with my uh, GT Mustangs. Um, and so I'm happy that the Bullet has been issue-free and enjoyable experience without any kind of weird issues with the car or any bad luck, knock on wood. Everything's been really great. It's been a really fun experience in the Bullet here for two years. And uh, I have no plans to modify it. I have no plans to to sell it. I plan to keep this car my entire life if I can. Um, I think it's perfect the way it is. I don't want to do any mods to it. I know that that makes it not great for a YouTube channel because everyone expects people to buy new cars every single year and you know turn them into thousand horsepower race cars and uh, tear every body panel off of the thing and stuff. That's not me. I bought this car for me because I enjoy it and I love it. I love giving you guys updates on it and you know trying to do vlogs whenever I have interesting adventures to film in it. Um, but uh, you know I just am going to keep just driving this car and enjoying it. Um, I'm slowly starting to open up the idea of maybe a project car someday if I have more room, more time, and the money to just mess around with something like that. Because um, I do have a lot of fun ideas for project cars, but the Bullet is not going to be one of them. It's going to stay stock, perfect, just the way it is. I just absolutely love this thing. And uh, yeah, I just hope I have more time to drive it here and more opportunities uh, once this insane year of 2020 is finally over and uh, we're on to better times, hopefully. But yes, that's all my thoughts here on uh, the two-year update in the Bullet. Let me know your thoughts on your Bullet if you ended up buying one and how it's holding up for you. And uh, let me know what you think about mine in the comments below as well. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.